the glory to King of Kings, the creator of heaven and earth. Thank you, Lord, for this new day, for being me, for guiding me, for walking me. And I, I take these few minutes today to glorify thy name and then uh, tackle the word of God in connection to Kenyan elections in this year 2022. And the church, the prophets, and the God use me as thy vessel, not my own intelligence, but glory to thee. Use me as thy vessel. Right now, we can say Kenyan uh, uh, prophets, uh, they are indicating a certain candidate will win Kenyan elections. And um, on my side, as a human, I found it, no, I found it, um, I can say I find it, at fault because Why, as per the scripture, let the word of God be fulfilled, or the will of God? If God chooses, maybe not among the leading candidates, that's the will of God. And uh, when uh, we observe, like uh, the kings of Israel, the way they are being anointed by the Lord our God, except the family of King David, where it was the firstborn after the father dies, to and on. But we see kings of Israel, prophets, used to be sent by God to anoint a pastor, not, not, not according to, to a prophet's desire, the way. Yeah, let's see. Let's see, like uh, the book of uh, Prophet Samuel, in the beginning, see chapter 2, 3 there, our soul is um, anointed by Samuel. Uh, uh, Prophet Samuel could have chosen anyone, but he waits until the Holy Spirit directs or sends Saul, and he does anoint him. Now Kenyan prophets are, are saying, because like today, if I wake up um, in the church, I'll be singing and uh, quoting scripture, maybe be doing uh, uh, little contributions. Now they say, ah, this one, no. it should be our leader. And this is not scripture. Again, going to the book of uh, First Samuel, chapter 16, verse 5 and 6. That's the game is there. When uh, the God now sends uh, Prophet Samuel, go to the family of Jesse and anoint a king there, when he sees Eliab in verse 5, his height and such he says, This is the king. But the Holy Spirit says, I have not chosen him. I have not chosen him. And uh, here we learn from God uh, himself, or Holy Spirit of God. God chooses the heart, but the man likes the appearance. So, so Kenyan, so, so Kenyan prophets, when they see uh, you are seeing you are quoting scripture, they say, ah, "This is him," but they don't know your heart because heart can only be known by God, the Creator. And this, and this is kind of prophecies which my people love. has made Kenya lag behind. A person stands today and says, don't go to hospital and he says he's going. Don't take this medicine. He's, he's bringing her oil, have an anti-oil. He's selling salt, brooms, he will sell food, handkerchiefs, and such kind of things. And our people, all my people love so. Oh Lord, help us, give us eyes to see. Lord, we are blind, we pray, we are weak. Give us high sight to see these things, these deceits. Oh, hallelujah. If you Kenyan prophets, I challenge you, are true prophets of God. God has told you 
who will win Kenyan elections? Come with the numbers. Tell us. You will get 10 million, 7 million, 300, and the 60, and we record down with deposit. The truth comes after August. We declare you, you are indeed a prophet of God. But the way, the, the way you are cheering while appointing a person, instead of praying, kneeling down, humble yourself before God, humbly and say, God, let thy will be fulfilled. Whether a Kenyan president might be a woman, and whether you might come from offside, because we all need peace and prosperity. But for you yourself, to, to direct a certain candidate, he fits to the seat in Kenya. This is questionable. And I'm repeating again, if indeed the Holy Spirit has told you, this candidate win, give us the Holy Spirit to tell you, you will get a seven million, Oh, be five or ten or twenty, then we wait. Because my verdict, you are false prophets, prophets of deceit. You have destroyed families in Kenya. You have done no evils. Okay, that might be one, maybe good one, but ninety percent. Kenyan families are crying, sleeping with women in church, doing a lot of evils. And anybody who tries to question you, you say, hey, I'll curse you, I'll destroy you. And, <laughs> oh my God. This is clear truth. If indeed, I repeat for the third time, the Holy Spirit that told you this one will win, give the number before the election. And I, and I say, August is coming, it will pass. We saw those uh, hundreds of false prophets across the world saying Trump, because he went in Israel, he, 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 he created, or we can say, that process where neighbors of Israel they became friends. So these are chosen servants. Uh, uh, God has told us he will win. Uh, Trump failed, and Joe Biden and Kamara Harris won elections, and they still said God cannot lie, it will be overturned. Now it's 2022. They are shame. Shame. They are shame. They cannot resist this shame. And this is fulfilled in the book of the of Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 40 the false prophets and the Lord will give them a perpetual shame and a reproach which shall never be forgotten same same I'm saying after August it will befall you false prophets in Kenya for the fourth time I say if the Holy Spirit has told you a certain candidate in, K in this Kenya's 2022 presidential election, he will win. Give us the number. <laughs> the numbers will win. He, he will gun to be declared a president. We are just using guesswork. And the Lord, who is only, has told you nothing. And the Lord will never associate with the liars. Thank you, God. Thank you, Christ. Thank you for thy glory. Thank you, oh my God. This hour forbid me for guiding me, for blessing me. Thank you, Jesus. All of Father, open eyes to my people who believe this seat. Oh, Lord. And uh, going to the book of Prophet Isaiah, chapter 30, it's the same thing. So we, uh, my people, uh, 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 prophesy to us sweet things, prophecy, deceit, you know, what they want to hear. Because you people of Kenya, the, the, the person, the person you think he may not be good, maybe he is the chosen one. What do I mean? Okay, you may not be given a good leader, but you yourself, are you good? <laughs> do you do righteous things? 
Do you follow the commands, commandments of God? See Kenya itself, the Kenyan family and society. A wife currently cannot forgive a husband. A husband, a husband cannot give a wife. See the killings of partners in family setup, in colleges, universities. Oh my God. Uh, for you, for you people to de to deserve a good a good a good leader to lead you, are you yourself good? Rectify yourselves. Follow the laws of God. Be merciful. Forgive those who do wrongs unto you, and uh, the life shall be well. We pray for peace and prosperity, but the peace of, of prosperity cannot be just words, word words. God wants actions. People who obey the voice of the Lord. And the Lord will give you a righteous leader if the nation itself is righteous. We cannot be living in a kind of corruption, in a kind of lies and deceit, deals which are shady. And you also want to give us good leader, give us. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for this day. Oh Lord, bless those who have heard this word. And if they repent for thee, forgive them. I know right now they are Christians. In challenges, sick. They are Christians praying for their lives. <clears throat> to be taken to the next level. Lord, Father, be merciful to those who keep thy commandments, thy praise, thy glory, thy exaltation. And bless them, oh Lord of heaven. Thank you, Christ. Thank you, God. And uh, you who will hear this message, and you have not received Christ, do not be deceived by people of this world, by pleasures or any other kind of uh, um, uh, a short, we can say, uh, short of happiness. Come to Christ. Undergo baptism. Follow the laws of God. And when he comes, he cries at the second time, he shall fly with us in heaven of heavens, where we will praise him and he will reward us with the eternal life. Oh, thank you, my Lord, my God. God, me bless me. Bid me, oh Christ, give me strength. Oh, in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen.